Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. I've been doing a lot of marsh fishing over the past couple of weeks. I've been taking a couple trips back there and the redfish are feeding really heavy deep in the marsh. I've been seeing them all over the place so I'm basically sight casting into areas where there's a lot of redfish feeding up against the grass. As you can see it doesn't take very long for me to get a hook up. Welcome to Texas Redfish Hunter TV. On this trip I'm fishing with my buddy Jacob and we're fishing this same area of marsh. As I'm paddling through I notice a really nice red feeding off this point. And if you look closely at the area that I'm casting into you can see the subtle wake that he's pushing as he moves through. Sight cast it in. Up against the grass, yeah. 
the big red. He's just still got some fight left in him. There's one pushing white to your right. Right in front of you. This guy's gonna be an over. <laughs> Oh yeah, this guy's like... <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. See, it, you gotta look for the wakes, and then you'll see their backs. The red flash in the water. Woo. This red ended up being 30 inches, making him my yeah, first man. overslot redfish from the kayak. That's a good way to start the morning right there. See look how he like barely pushes away. Throw back at him, right in front of him. He's right here. Yeah. I'm gonna say it was worth coming back here. Now if you look really closely, as I'm coming up to this corner, you'll see a red. His back is completely out of the water up in this cut. He's in about two to three inches of water, snaking around on the mud looking for bait. These reds are the ones that you have to be the most careful casting to because they will spook very easily. I haven't been able to entice this red to take my gulp yet, and he's about to slide right off this cut. So I know I have to get a little bit more brave with my cast and try to get him to take it. As you can see, I got a little too brave with my cast. I put the bait too close to the fish and spooked him right off of that mud flat. In these situations, you really want to be throwing a light jig head and some sort of light soft plastic. You don't want to make a lot of commotion when your bait hits the water or you will spook these fish off. I still saw a lot of fish feeding in this area, so I free lined a live shrimp into the cut and finally got a red to eat.
This guy measured to 21 inches, but we still had a freezer full of redfish, so we were just fishing for fun today. Here again, I've got a live shrimp out in an area that I saw redfish feeding. So what I'm looking for is the big splashes that of reds chasing bait up against the grass. I'm also looking for wake, but if you can't see wake, sometimes it's really subtle. You've really just got to start listening for it. And it's hard to tell sometimes the difference between bait jumping or a redfish hitting. Once you actually watch and see a redfish hit a bait and listen to that sound it makes, it's a very distinctive sound. So that's what I'm listening for and that's what I'm looking for. And I'll cast to those areas where redfish are feeding and then usually you'll get a hook up. So I want to end this video by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I make these videos for myself, my friends, and my family, and I really enjoy making these videos. And it's nice to see that other people are enjoying these videos as well. So again, thank you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also really appreciate the feedback I've been getting at my email, which is redhuntertx at gmail.com. If you have any questions about my style of fishing, or if you want me tips on where to go or what I do, feel free to email me. Also, if you have any tips that's going to make me a better fisherman, I really appreciate hearing from y'all. So thank you again, and I'll catch you guys on my next trip. Dude, I was shaking watching him. The whole time I'm watching him, I'm shaking. I'm like, that's a big red, that's a big red. I watched him take it, and I was just like, boom! Oh. Dude, there's nothing like sight fishing. You see him, and you're trying to... Oh my god, it's like hunting and fishing combined. So awesome.